Welcome to the Blue Coat SSL Visibility Appliance First Steps. This video tutorial describes the deployment scenario of the SSLV appliance configured to decrypt outbound traffic and send it to passive security devices with an option on power failure to forward traffic to the other side of the network bypassing the security device or devices. We will perform the following activities to complete the configuration. First, we will install the SSLV appliance in the network. Then, create a re-sign certificate, create a basic rule set, and create a segment for the passive security device. At this point, we will run a test to verify that no traffic is being blocked by the SSL visibility appliance. Create a rule to decrypt specific SSL traffic, and then test this rule verifying traffic is decrypted. In a passive inline deployment, the SSL visibility appliance is connected to the network as a bump in the wire, which means it is not an active device itself. It is unnoticed by other devices. The security device connected to it is passive, so it will only report malicious traffic, but will not act on it directly. The SSLV appliance decrypts the SSL traffic and sends it to the security device. First, connect the management port on the SSL visibility appliance to your management network. Then, connect network ports in pairs because the failure mode will allow us to select corrective options. Port 1 and Port 2 can auto-connect in a software or power failure. Also, Port 3 and 4, and so on. With Port 1 connected to the inside or local network, and Port 2 to the router or outside network, then connect Port 3 to the passive security device, such as an intrusion detection system, a failure will allow the traffic to continue to pass on the network, bypassing the security device. In this case, traffic is sent directly between the LAN switch and the router without SSL decryption. The security device may find some of the traffic to be bad, for example, containing a virus or malware, in which case the security device will report issues as configured. The traffic flow will continue to pass through the SSL VA to its destination. If the security device sees the traffic as clean, the application assumes it to be good or virus-free, and it is sent to the destination and no report is required. This diagram represents the certificate signing request process. If you do not have an Enterprise Root CA or do not want to use it with the Blue Coat SSL Visibility Appliance, the SSL Visibility Appliance has a built-in CA you can use to generate a self-signed certificate to install on all user machines. Therefore, an enterprise PKI is not required. Let's log into the SSL VA web user interface to begin the configuration. In the web UI, select the PKI tab and the resigning certificate authorities. In the local resigning certificate authorities panel, click on the rose icon to generate a certificate. This will produce a generate certificate window. Fill in the details, name, location information, validity period, key type, size. Once the data is input, click on the generate a self-signed CA. We can take a look at the details of the certificate here. Then click apply to save the changes. This certificate must be installed on the client's systems as a trusted CA. Select the certificate, click the export icon to save the certificate to a known location. At the client, import the certificate. The web guide has details for each of the major browsers. This example is using Chrome. For Chrome, select the Customize and Control icon at the end of the URL bar and click Settings. In the Settings window, scroll to the bottom and click Show Advanced Settings. Then scroll down to HTTPS slash SSL. Then click Manage Certificates. In the Certificates window, select the Trusted Root Certificates tab. Click Import. In the wizard, click Next, then click Browse to locate the certificate you saved. 
Select the file, then click Open. Click Next twice, and then Finish to complete importing the certificate. The new certificate will appear in your list. A rule is used to match against a specific SSL flow or set of flows. We will create a rule to allow all traffic to pass through the SSL VA in a cut-through mode, meaning no decryption will take place. The SSL VA will act as a wire, ensuring everything is connected properly. Under the Policy tab, select Rule Sets. You may add, remove, or clone rule sets. Click the plus icon to add a rule set. In the window, enter a name for the rule set, then click OK. Apply the change. In the Rule Set option panel, click the pencil icon to edit and set the default internal certificate authority to the certificate we just generated. And make sure the catch all action is set to cut through. Click OK to apply the change. In the Rules panel, click Plus to insert a new rule. Confirm the action is cut through and set the trusted certificate to all trusted certificates. Select the subject domain name pull down and choose SSLing unsupported sites. This is a short list of sites that are not decrypted by the SSL VA. Then click OK and apply the policy changes. A segment is a group of interfaces that receive traffic. It enforces the rule set use and determines the deployment mode. The segment distributes the traffic according to the policy within the rule set in copy mode. To create a segment, go to the Policies tab and select Segments. The display contains a graphical display of the system. In the Segments pane, click the plus icon to add. In the new window, select Edit. You may reduce your options by setting the main mode to Passive Inline from the pull-down options. Then select Passive Inline if your traffic is symmetric or bidirectional on each interface. If the traffic is unidirectional, where each side of the network sees only one direction of the traffic, select Asymmetric. Then click OK. Select the rule set we just created, set the session log mode appropriately, and enter a description in the comments box. Click OK. The segment will appear. Apply the policy changes. To activate a new segment, in the Segments panel, select the segment, click the Mark for Activation icon. In the Activation window, set the ports as described and highlighted in pink. First, the network ports, then the ports that are connected to the passive security device or devices, to receive a copy of the inspected traffic. Click Next. To make this change take effect, apply the policy changes. When complete, the active segment should have a green background. Verify the active ports. With the rule set in place, we will now pass traffic through the SSL Visibility Appliance to ensure we see the traffic we expect. First, a look at clear traffic by simply browsing to a variety of websites from the client machine. Next, we will connect to a site with SSL encryption, such as gmail.com. This information We'll use the SSL certificate we generated earlier. Is all traffic being blocked? If so, your SSL visibility appliance may not be connected to the network properly. Review the steps for your deployment mode. When traffic is working, to verify the SSL visibility appliance is forwarding the traffic, you can view the OnBox SSL session log. Select Monitor SSL Session Log. Look at the recent connections of the domains visited and observe the value in the action column. Since the initial rule you created cuts through all traffic, the action should say cut through for all sessions. To set the SSL visibility appliance to decrypt SSL traffic, we will add a rule that decrypts everything from a specific source address. For testing purposes, we will use a single IP address of our test machine. Under the Policies tab, select Rule Sets, in the Rule Sets panel, select the rule set we previously created, 
In the Rules panel, click the plus icon to insert a new rule. The Insert Rule dialog displays. For action, select the appropriate description action of Decrypt Resign Certificate. For source IP, enter the IP address of your computer. Click OK. Apply the policy changes. Now to test, open the browser that you have imported the certificate into and browse to an encrypted site such as https bluecoat.com or gmail.com. To see the SSL traffic has been decrypted, click on the monitor tab and select the SSL session log. Review this log for SSL sessions from your browser. As you configure your SSL visibility appliance, you may be general or very specific with the rules that you apply, depending on the traffic you wish to decrypt. See the Administration and Deployment Guide for more details. Visit the Bluecoat SSLV First Steps Web Guide, available at BlueTouch Online, to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using your SSLV appliance to secure your network. For suggestions or comments about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.